2013 Audi A4 with a uh, 2.0 turbo. Uh, just driving here, cruising, uh, steady speed, uh, 42 miles an hour at 1200 RPM. It's in closed loop. You can see the long term um, negative 36. This car has a uh, rich condition. Uh, I believe it's caused by a uh, high pressure fuel pump leaking into the crankcase. I can let me stop right here in a minute and I can show you the numbers at idle. And you can see they will be worse at idle. As far as the negative fuel trim, okay. Now we're at idle. Uh, you can see here. You can see the uh, the lambda equivalence ratio, which is the front O2. It's at 0.8. Long term negative 50 plus 25. It's like you know 75 almost negative 75. Uh, fuel pressure is that much, 561. And it's not, uh, it's not a bad O2 sensor. It doesn't, because you can, I can rev it up and you'll see it change. See, there it goes. So a good number would be a one. Lambda should be about one. If you think about uh, the, the ocean, you know, the surface of the ocean would be one, which is perfect fuel trim. Uh, if you go under, like in the water, think of that as a rich condition. So, 0.9, we're underwater. Water represents fuel, so too much fuel, rich. Now, if you go above one, consider that is lean because above the water is just oxygen right so think of it as lean uh, so right now the o2 sensor front o2 sensor is reading 0.9 which is if you think about it below one which is underwater which would be rich i've seen it go as down as 0.7 which is very very rich Um, I believe this car has a um, high pressure fuel pump leaking into the crankcase and then the PCB system reburning that into the engine and causing you know the rich rich condition uh, well, let me see uh, I got it to to see if I can see the fuel pressure drop okay Right now the car is on. Okay, now the car is off, and we can monitor the fuel pressure. See how it's leaking down? It shouldn't be leaking down. It should be holding the fuel pressure. That's why I believe the the high pressure pump is leaking fuel into the engine crankcase and then reburn them out reburning them through the PCV system causing this rich condition and it, the engine oil does smell like it has fuel um let's see what else start it back up open loop Long term still negative. Closed loop, you see, it has is point six now. It's like it's reading Ray Rich. Look at that. So we believe the high pressure fuel pump is the cause. Don't believe the fuel injectors are leaking into the cylinders at the moment because I did take the spark plugs out and I licked. I uh, looked into the cylinders I didn't ex uh, I was expecting to see like fuel 
wash cylinders or fuel on top of the um, pistons, but I didn't see any. So at the moment, I'm going to say the high pressure fuel pump would be the first step. All right, this is the then we reading replace it and I'll after I replaced the high pressure pump, which it was leaking. Um, so you can see the the negative, I mean, the fuel trim numbers are a lot better. Um, the equivalence ratio, the lambda, is staying about one, very close to one or one which is where you want it. The long term, short term is perfect. Plus or minus five. And let me get let me get it up to speed again. The same like last video. I think it was like forty. Okay. So That's about 40 there, 39, 40. And you can see the numbers are way, are way better. And so, yes, when I removed the high pressure pump, I did, I did smell, see uh, fuel in that bore where the little piston is to activate, that, that activates the pump, high pressure pump forgot the, what they call it but this is like a little lifter piston thingy and um, I did find fuel in that bore so I mean that tell me it was that it was in fact the high pressure pump also I did I did do a all change because uh, it did because of the um, it was leaking into that crankcase causing the engine to uh, uh, the engine oil to be fuel with fuel, so I did I did uh, did an oil change as well. So right here is that idle. I don't know if you remember the numbers before, but they were all negative. The lambda was I think it was 0.7, which is very rich, and now it's staying at one where it needs to be right there one it might still have some fuel vapors inside the engine inside the crankcase but um, a lot lot less than before and that's why you see some negative numbers there right now also I forgot to mention that the fuel so yes, this, pressure in fact um, it is now holding with a new pump fix this car so with not replacing the it's not bleeding fabric. down like the old one was uh, let me show you what I mean right now the engine's on you can see the RPMs you can hear it okay I'm gonna turn it off and just monitor the uh, pressure there pressure even seems to go up which makes sense because the fuel, the fuel in the rail is gonna, it's hot, so it's gonna rise the pressure a little bit. I mean, not too much, but it will, like it's doing now. So yeah, this is a confirmed fix. Just wanted to show that that last clip to show you that it's holding now and that's it